What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back and this time it's more so of an apology video. Yes, I was wrong. I made a video earlier saying that the Magic Mouse 2 for uh, the Apple devices, the MacBooks, the iMacs, all those devices, I said that it would not pair with the iPad Pro and I was wrong. So big shout out to one of my subscribers, Dale Kidall. I'm hoping I'm saying that the right way. He was able to give me a list of things to do to actually get this to work. And I actually got it to work. So I'm going to walk you guys through it step by step. So nobody has the same problem that I have, but this is not anything that I found. I was wrong. I want to admit that. And like I said, Dale, you are the hero of the day for getting this in. So let's jump into the screen and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step of how to actually set this mouse up so you can use it with your iPad Pro. So before we actually get into the screen, I'm going to actually do a overlay or picture in picture. I'm going to do something just to show you guys that this is working while we have the screen going on. So I got screen recording. We're going to get started right now. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to hit here. You're going to go into settings and I actually have my Bluetooth stuff pulled up, but this mouse is right here and you want to make sure that this mouse is actually turned to the off position. So it's off right now. Let me make sure it's off. Yep. So it's in the off position. We're going to sit it back down over here on the table and then we'll get to work. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dim this screen a little bit. There we go. Pull this in and let's get to work. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to accessibility. So I'm going to click on accessibility. And once we get there, we're going to scroll down and make sure that we can go under physical and motor and we're going to find that switch control. Now switch control is going to be in the off position by default. Don't worry about it. I never got mine to come on, but you don't need it to come on in order for this to happen. You're going to then click on switches. And once you click on switches, you are now going to go to Bluetooth device. Now, I tried to do this the first time and I couldn't get it to work. So what I did now was turn my mouse on and it activates. I'm going to choose that and it should say that it is connected. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a cursor on the screen. And now, voila, there we go. So Magic Mouse is working. Big shout out to Dale because if it hadn't been for him, I would have never found this out. But once you get finished, you can do all your clicks. Go back home. Everything is working. Everything seems to be a go. Now, your gestures, the finger gestures that you have, swiping and all that, they don't work right now. So maybe we can fix that in the new, but you actually have to hold down to get it to scroll on the screen. But not that big of a deal. We know that we're running a beta, and I'm sure that Apple will have full compatibility with this device once the actual real thing comes out. So that is it guys, it's extremely simple, but if you don't know, you won't know uh, until somebody lets you know. Uh, I guess that sounds right. If you don't know, you won't know until somebody lets you know. Okay, we'll go with it. But that's what happens. Somebody told me, I told you guys, hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure to give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, average check guy out. Peace.